One of the best parts of this job is going to be, I can't wait till the debate. <laughs> so. <laughs> Look, I, I've done this enough, and I know bullies, uh, and I'm not a name caller, but what I am as a teacher, I observe things. So I want to tell you, what I observed and you've deserved about, uh, observed about these guys when you see them, that it's a very clear thing. Yes, they are creepy and, and weird as hell. You see it. You see it. This is not normal. This is not normal behavior. Nobody's asking for this crazy stuff. That's Kamala Harris's running mate and man LARPing as a normal old white guy, Tim Walls, calling Republicans weird and saying that he can't wait to debate J.D. Vance. Welcome to Nurk News, I'm Nurkish, and it looks like Harris's radical choice for VP might be winning over the NPCs and news media who are attempting to paint him as a moderate, but there are still some older models who see a contradiction in the actions of Democrats. For example, Jake Tapper at CNN. So let me ask you a question because um, there's this, uh, I'm hesitant to even bring it up, but there's this gross online smear about J.D. Vance involving couches, okay? Um, and the, the only reason I cite it uh, is because Governor Waltz made a reference to it during his introduction speech uh, yesterday. And I got to tell you, I can't wait to debate the guy. That is if, you, if he's willing to get off the couch and show up. So. A clear reference to this gross smear. So, I, I mean, whatever happened to Michelle Obama's when they go low, we go higher. <laughs> I think Democrats have abandoned that a long time ago. Look, I get it. Uh, politics is a brutal sport. This is like a boxing match, and we're trying to see if we can get the knockout first, and they're trying to do the same. Uh, and let's see what happens in November, Jake. But I'm not surprised by what it. What do you think? I love Michelle Obama, but she's not in this race. They're <laughs> running against Donald J. Trump. You know, you've got to love how everyone there is acting like Democrats and the media are suddenly acting out of character. As if they didn't peddle stuff like the Russian P-tape hoax and dozens of other rumors for years. Regardless, unlike Democrats, Republicans actually speak to the media. And here's what J.D. Vance said in response to Waltz's criticisms. Now, look, what, I, what, what really bothers me about Tim Waltz, it's not... Even the positions that he's taken, though certainly he has been a far left radical. You know what really bothers me about Tim Waltz as a Marine who served his country in uniform? When the United States Marine Corps, when the United States of America asked me to go to Iraq to serve my country, I did it. I did what they asked me to do, and I did it honorably, and I'm very proud of that service. When Tim Waltz was asked by his country to go to Iraq, you know what he did? He dropped out of the army and allowed his unit to go without him, a fact that he's been criticized for aggressively by a lot of the people that he served with. I think it's shameful to prepare your unit to go to Iraq, to make a promise that you're going to follow through, and then to drop out right before you actually have to go. I also think it's dishonest. Something, again, if you guys ever get an opportunity to ask Tim Waltz or Kamala Harris some questions, he made this interesting comment that the Kamala Harris campaign put out there, and I bet they're regretting they put it out there now, because he said that we, and he was making a point about gun control, he said we shouldn't allow weapons that I used in war to be on America's streets. Well, I wonder, Tim Waltz, when were you ever in war? When was this, what was this weapon that you carried into war given that you abandoned your unit right before they went to Iraq and he has not spent a day in a combat zone? What bothers me about Tim Waltz is the stolen valor garbage. Do not pretend to be something that you're not. And if he wants to criticize me for getting an Ivy League education, I'm proud of the fact that my mammal supported me, that I was able to make something of myself. I'd be ashamed if I was him and I lied about my military service like he did. That's an excellent counterpunch from Vance and a good way to point out how sleazy Democrats are. I mean, being two-faced and dishonest are already an issue for this campaign, and then for some reason they choose to bring on a guy who's lying about this sort of stuff and is just as radical as Harris. And I think a lot of Democrats are in the dark about their candidates. Harris and Walls have been avoiding the media and doing these rallies with desperate trained SEALs in the audience, but it's gonna be another story when they're put in front of real people and they realize how radical and incompetent their candidates are. But let me know what you think. Were Democrats ever the party of taking the high ground? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!